Hi friends, good morning. Today we are going to see how to make Ganesha with rice flour and maida. Take one cup of maida flour, one cup of rice flour. Add two tablespoons of coconut oil to it. Mix it well. water little by little to bring it to the chapati dough consistency. This is an eco-friendly way to make Ganesha so that we can immerse in water after we do the puja. During this time we need not go out and purchase something. So with the ingredients which we have at home we can do Ganesha. Bring the dough to this consistency, cover it with a damp cloth and keep it aside for 10 to 15 minutes. Now the dough is ready, it will be like this, so soft after 10 to 15 minutes. So with this I have made 3 balls, one bigger, smaller, little bit smaller than that and 2 legs and 2 arms just simply you need to make like this. That's all. So, these two are for the ears. These two are for the ears. So, now we are going to set a base for this. So, I had taken a use and throw box, sweet box. So, this I will keep it as a base. I will tell you why, why I selected this afterwards. Um, keep the bigger one in the center. The next size ball which is little bit smaller than that over it. Attach it well. The next size ball. This is the head. This is the head. This is the body part. And this is the part where Ganesha sits. So only with these three balls. Okay. So take two lengthy parts. Two legs. So fix it at the back. Fix it at the back. Got it? Now So This is the feet This is the leg part Now the next one Attach it behind And bring it to the front So this is another feet So I think you got it Next, we will fix the arms. So, arms will be fixed to the side of the body. So, to this shape. You can bend. It is very easy to bend. Now, the next it is ears. We are going to fix the ears. So, flatten it like this. Like an M shape. You see, it will be like an M shape. So, attach it to the side. The other one, one side you press it. The other side you make it as an M shape, flatten it and do. Okay. So now you fix it to the other side. I think it's clear. Now we are going to make the crown. 
So for that, you make a conical shape. So you make a conical shape and keep it over it, over the head. Okay, now you got the skeleton. You need to make the, what is it called? Trunk. So, I take one more ball. Attach it from the top. It's a little bit bigger. So, attach it from the top. Bend it as, as you wish. Towards the right side or towards the left side. It's up to you. Now you can decorate it. Make us so thin one. And decorate it around the crown. It looks good. Got it? Now. So to give support, add a big ball behind it so that this part will not be moved. It is attached properly. So after one or two days also, it will be as such. You can make an anklet. Thanda, we say. You can make two, three steps in the crown. Like this. And one small ball over the head. And one more. Slender like thing. Attach it like this. Now our Ganesha is ready. So we need to draw the eyes. Shall we do? Yes. Take the fabric color so that it will not spread. To draw the Nama or Tilak. Is it? You can make impressions with a toothpick or a sharp one. For the fingers, one, two, three, four, five. the same way, the other side also, one, two, three, four, other one, okay. Now you can make impressions here and there so that it looks so cute. The ears. Okay. The feet. One, two, three, four. The other one is well. Now, Dunja is ready. 
I told you why I selected this sweet box, empty transparent sweet sweet box. So you can use an LED bulb. So you can fix it below so that it will be glowing and it will be a little bit bright and divine. It will give a divine look. You can do some decorations by attaching something behind here and there. Ganesha is super. Do you love this Ganesha? Is it nice? Paint the crown with the paint. You can keep stones, whatever you have. You can draw lines like this. Don't the Ganesha is ready. I love this Ganesha. What about you? If you love, give, subscribe my channel. Bye.